Naam. Asalamu alaykum. Ah mimi mzee mzima wa Kaya. Leo ikiwa ni tarehe 23 mwezi wa 3 Ah sina budi kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu manake huu hai atachukulia mzaa. Tuampa shukra. Basi moja kwa moja mimi mali hapa sikieleweni na mambo kadha wa kadha ya kuzungumzia na sitakuwa na muda wa kupoteza maana yake muda pia upo kwando yetu leo tutashughulikia swala kuu swala moja ambalo tulijua sote kuna hili swala ambalo watu uliza je yako vipi basi ningependa kwa hapa maelezo mafupi ah who is a gentleman gentleman ni naye tumesikia jambo hili kila mahali kwenye hotuba za tolewa kote kote msijali kuna mtoto mdogo hapo yupiga kelele kile msijali basi gentleman ni nani leo katika chumba changu hiki hapo chumba cha mwanguli mtu wako maelezo haya je gentleman ni nani who is a gentleman hili nayo tumelisikia kote kote la sema lakini leo tutajiuliza na kupata majibu leo katika ukumbi wa kaya kwenye platform leo mzee mzima basi gentleman kuna tabia ambazo za mtambulisha mtu ambaye yetu gentleman na hizi tabia lazima tuwe nazo ndipo posa mtu ajiite gentleman ikiwa huna basi wajidanganya gentleman jambo la kwanza maongezi yako maongezi kuna maneno kadha kadha ambayo kila mara ni maneno madogo ma, maneno ambayo ni simple lakini watu wengi ushindwa kuyatamka ama kuyasema neno la kwanza katika lugha ya kimombo ni neno laitwa please please thank you na lingine pia i'm sorry basi maneno haya maneno madogo madogo like words you use the words you speak zina umuhimu sana kunisha kwamba huyu mtu je ni gentleman ama yojidai tu ya ujigamba mimi pia ni gentleman yeah. of which pia hajui ni nini kabisa jambo la kwanza tumesema kwamba a gentleman huwezi kumkosea mtu kisha kusema i'm sorry ya kuwa shida yani kuomba msamaha ya kuwa shida huwezi kusaidia mtu ama kupewa favor kidogo na mtu kisha kusema Asante ama thank you katika lugha ya kimombo ya kuwa shida. Wezi kuwa taka jambo fulani ufanyiwe lakini wewe kutumia jambo ama neno a, tafadhali ama please ni shida kwako. Wewe si gentleman. Those are not traits of a gentleman. Lazima ujue jinsi ya kuzungumza mambo haya heshima. These words ambazo ni simple lakini ni vigumu kutumia. Lazima uwe nazo. Gentleman lazima ajifunze mambo haya kuyatumia maneno haya jambo la pili jambo la pili ni jambo ambalo ni muhimu pia katika mazungumzo hebu tuseme katika inaitwa argument katika lugha ya kimombo inaitwa argument mabishano kidogo tu kidogo tu unajua haya maisha kuna mabishano kidogo how does a gentleman behave or talk in an argument or a discussion a gentleman number one, how to argue a gentleman does not attack the person he attacks the point yani usimlenge mtu lenga ile point ambayo mazungumza umuhimu wa kulenga point ni kwamba hakutakuwa na itwaje zile heated discussion ambayo yazoobishi hamna kuzoobishi basi kuna watu ambao hawajui ku hawajui ku, ku argue wao wanamwatak mtu badala ya kuattack ile point so gentleman know how to argue attack the point not the person jambo lingine pia katika argument pia you must know when to be flexible be flexible accept new ideas si kwamba hoja zako ndizo ambazo sasa ndizo ah uh-uh. accept points watu wengine don't be a mr right you know mr right yani haambiwi haina hizi kuambia chochote huyo mtu si gentleman 
jambo lingine a gentleman ah hizi sasa ni jambo la tatu nafikiri kuna maneno ambayo yaitwa cast language wale ambao wametazama filamu za Hollywood kule mwazijua vulgar words f word s word mwazijua but a gentleman does not use this language yes ikiwa ni mmoja wao ulikuwa utumia zile zile words ila maneno ya f word mwazijua those vulgar words you are not a gentleman wajigamba tu lakini wewe si gentleman those are not words of honor si maneno ya heshima ya dignity maneno ya machafu kabisa a gentleman does not use curse language whatever the case labda umekasirishana na mtu umekasirika lakini you must know how to control yourself a gentleman does not use curse language ah na basi ah jambo la la mwisho la mwisho la mwisho kabla niweza kumaliza makala haya jambo la mwisho ambalo ningependa kuzungumzia leo kuna mengi lakini leo nazungumzia machache tu karibu manne matano hivi leo lakini kuna mengi ambayo tutazidi kushughulikia jambo la mwisho wakati mwingine gentleman ofaa kujua jinsi ya ku jinsi ya ku shut up sometimes you need to know when to shut up as a gentleman si lazima kwamba kila wakati wazungumza wajitetea nini kaseme ka na kwa mfano katika mazungumzo wewe ni kujitetea tu gentleman sometimes you need to shut up naam leo tumalizia pale mimi ni mzee mzima wa kaya kwa mengi tafadhali like the video subscribe to the channel utapata mambo mengi uh, tafadhali subscribe and like the video we shall be more with many many more usibanduke usionoke usiguse kidude